Hello and welcome to Impera Project, a project built on a dream. Last time we talked about the first 10 rules of the Kodo, the way on which you must walk alone, belonging to the Japanese philosopher and Ronin, Miyamoto Musashi. If you want to hear us screaming strange phrases in a language we don't have a clue about, go and watch the video. We promise you a great show, entertaining if not interesting. Today we will change our point of view, from the Far East to Central Europe, from medieval war philosophy to enlightened philosophy, and demons. We will talk about Pierre Simon Laplace and his demon. But before we dive straight into this episode, we want to announce you that we opened an Instagram page where we post daily content, quotes and edited pictures representing important aspects of philosophy. Follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our channel if you enjoy this type of content. Now, let's dive straight into this complicated mess, shall we? We have talked about fate many times and how it dictates everything in our life. This is just a theory, which is presented in many philosophies, from idealism to stoicism. But you see, this unbreakable rule that fate controls everything is more often found in determinism. What is determinism? We will discuss about it in a special video only about it. But in a short phrase, determinism says that every event that happened in your life or in humanity is an effect of all the things that happened before it. So everything before that very moment is a cause of that certain effect. It might sound pretty logical. Cause and effect is an accepted logic when we discuss many things, history for example. But there is also the concept of free will which states that every action of ours belongs only to our own will and reason. Again, this might sound logical, and we are sure there are a lot of people among you who believe in both of them. Something like, we are free to do anything, but some things just happen. This is called an error of logic, because in this case, statement number one, we are free to do anything, and statement number two, but some things just happen, they are outside our control, contradict each other, so you can't actually believe in both. Well, you can, your thoughts are your own, but from a logical point of view, it is wrong. So, how is this related to Pierre Simon Laplace? We mentioned a demon, was he a warlock? You are not prepared. Well, if he lived in our time, maybe he would have played the warlock, but in real life, he wasn't. He was a mathematician and physicist and came up with one of the most interesting theories that use determinism as a reference. Now you probably realize the enlightened philosophers were pretty different. Though they work in the same period of time, their visions were different, even if their reasons of doing their work were the same. So we can't really be sure if Laplace really believed in determinism or not but his theory is often used as a dogma for determinism. Let's talk about it. The statement is as it follows. We may regard the present state of the universe as the effect of its past and the cause of its future. An intellect which at a certain moment would know all forces that set nature in motion and all positions of all items of which nature is composed if this intellect were also vast enough to submit this data to analysis, it would embrace in a single formula the movements of the greatest bodies of the universe and those of the tiniest atom. For such an intellect, nothing would be uncertain and the future, just like the past, would be presented before its eyes. It might sound strange, just like everything in this video, but let it rest for a bit. Laplace just stated that if you know everything that surrounds you, every single characteristic of a certain thing, you can predict the future. Actually, not predict, you will know the future just like you know the past, because in the end, life is a string of events. Just like in some video games you have the illusion of choice, life is also a game and the outcome of your decision is already bound to happen. They have all been predicted a priori by something way bigger than you, way bigger than every single one of us. Now, it depends how you want to call it. Fate, reason, God, 
he doesn't even need a name. That is how small we are. And this is not a video meant to depress you. This is a video meant to make you feel less stressed about what you do. There is always a bigger plan unveiling itself day by day. And do you see? Even the brightest minds somehow understood that every day of your life is a witness of this power, this fate that leads the world. Now, of course, just like any theory, it has been attacked. This theory, the demon of Laplace, is not exactly philosophy. It is physics. So there are other theories in physics that contradict this one. The second law of thermodynamics, quantum mechanical irreversibility, and even the chaos theory, which is probably the boogeyman of probabilities and prediction. We will make a video entirely dedicated to the chaos theory, because it is so wild and unpredictable that it might ruin even the best calculations. In the end, nothing is certain. Not in science and not in life. But you should worry not about it. Because if there truly is a superior force out there that leads us on, it probably offers you just what you need, when you need it. Not what you want, but what you truly need. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if so, don't forget to leave a like, a share and subscribe to our channel. We post this kind of content as often as we can. And also, don't forget about our Instagram page. Go there and please follow us. Until next time, we wish you a beautiful day.